Hello, my friends. There was uh, this headline on CNN recently. International students may need to leave U.S. if their universities transition to online-only learning. I believe that this is a bad idea. I can accept it as a short-term solution, but not a permanent one. Online education is not education anymore. It is almost a scam. Who wants to go to Harvard or Columbia or Yale or Princeton when all you do is sit at home in front of your laptop pretending to be in a classroom? Might as well tell people that you attended YouTube University because when you are not physically in the halls and auditoriums of your university of choice with no physical contact with your teachers, classmates, never sitting in the university library, studying along your new best friends, young, enthusiastic and ambitious, just like yourself, coming from all corners of the world, eager to know you, to listen to your stories, just as you are to learn from them, open your mind and occasionally your heart to their personal universe. Well, I ask you, what will be the cherished memories of your college years? Do you want us to believe that an Ivy League university with billions of dollars in its coffers, with all the brain power of its teachers and leaders, cannot think of a solution to keep in-person classes going for all disciplines? Online education might have been okay for a period when everybody was taken by surprise by a mismanaged health crisis, but can you imagine robbing students of the experience of attending courses together, of sharing experiences, of making lifelong friendships, of learning basic social and professional skills, only available and possible by being in a social setting? What kind of sick mind, other than that of some heartless individuals with zero imagination and very little understanding of what education is about, can think that this will provide the necessary tools to the future generations needed to come up with the urgent solutions if we are ever going to repair the world we live in. This will not only affect international students, but the American students as well. There are solutions, folks, and it is not at all complicated. I cannot stress enough the emphasis on the necessity of the college experience which for many students is a, it's a necessary growing up experience, away from the parents, forced to make decisions on their own, to think seriously about the steps they need to take after finishing school. And let's not forget how important are the teachers throughout the years of study. Someone suggested that not all teachers are equally qualified and the online teaching can give students a chance to learn from the most qualified ones. That is a wrong view coming from someone probably who probably never took on the complex task of teaching, of facing the curious minds of the young class. In this world, we need more teachers, not less. We need more direct contact between teachers and students. The process of mentoring that is taking place cannot be underestimated. The empathy they have for us is the lesson we carry when we, in turn, are called to serve others in our chosen profession. Well, generally teachers are the, there mostly to guide you along, give you reference indicators to help you find and define your own path in your chosen field. In any field, there may be five, six essential books, I think, which study thoroughly you will know as much as any top professionals. But the rest of who you become will depend on how you apply what you learn, how you practice what your mentors inspired you to become as an adult. As you know, the birth of this idea is blamed on the current health crisis, on COVID-19. It is a false premise, I think because there are simple solutions that will respect any kind of health protocols necessary. Universities, schools of any kind, should not be subject uh, or not 
should not subject themselves to this political game. All students will be affected, not just international ones. Online education should be partial, temporary, and as much as possible avoided by any responsible school. The lives of these students are at stake and our economy will be worse from it. First of all, all these schools have plenty of money to organize in-person classes respecting the health protocols. But what is worrisome is this idea that online classes are presented as having the same efficiency with in-person classes. No true, no matter how you look at it. This is basically stealing from new generations of students a whole life-changing experience. Uh, the college years where you learn professional and social skills that are indispensable in life. The universities can implement simple solutions for the teachers to be protected from coming close to the students. And this goes for the students' health protection as well. Unfortunately, this is getting to be more like a political game, ignorant of the damage it does, not only to universities and the education system at large, but to the economy and the very mental fabric, fabric of future generations of Americans. More intelligent governments and schools around the world will find ways, if they didn't find already, to comply with this health protocols, recognizing the potential disastrous results of eliminating in-person classes. And my final thought. We live in troubled times, not of our making. Our troubles are inherited from many generations before us. Yet, we are held responsible for solving them, and somehow I feel that we are being told that we should feel guilty if the final outcome is not a positive one. Not a cool thing, Dr. Fauci, not cool at all.